What is up everybody? Hope you're doing well out there. Today we're doing the May pickups video. It's crazy that another month has passed by, went by so quickly, I'm not sure what happened. But I bought a couple of cool items, I think. Nothing too fancy, lots of like running stuff and a couple of like smaller purchases. So I would say let's jump right in because we have a lot of ground to cover. And maybe start off with a hopefully familiar piece to you because you've seen my Greg Lauren video. This is the flannel from the spring summer 20 season that I bought. Lovely colorway, kind of like a washed orange and blue one. Ultra thick quality, you know, that's how flannels are supposed to be. Cool piece. And this was like stuck in customs for like over four weeks, maybe even over six weeks, I'm not sure, but got this from, from the US, from Grailed. And yeah, should have been in the April pickups video. Lovely, lovely piece. But let's move on to the next one. So this blazer here is not a new pickup. But somehow like the last days I wore this one and I thought, okay, I've never shown this on video. So I thought I'd just bring it today and show you. So this is an MA Cross blazer, like a tweed double layer blazer. So the outer layer is like sort of like a tweed fabric and the inner is lovely, like a cashmere wool kind of fabric. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece, beautifully constructed, right? If you look at the inside pocket here, for example, and the detailing is just bonkers. Looks really cool when worn as well, right? Because you also have sort of like a double layer here with the sleeves. Double layer of tweed that is like coming through. And then all those raw hems, of course. Beautiful double vent in the back. So this is what the blazer looks like when worn, right? You can see beautiful tweedish fabric and then the cool detail here with the double layer on the sleeve and then the raw hems then the double vent in the back pockets here as well small inside pocket and this thing this thing is pretty pretty warm all right you can see the wool here yeah, I just love this blazer. And obviously you can button it down like this. I usually leave it open though. All right. Yeah, pretty, pretty awesome piece. I've had this for a while. It's ultra warm, right? Perfect for like fall, winter. Of course it has this 925 silver cross which is the signature for Amy Cross. Yeah, beautiful piece. On to the next one. So I bought a lot of like running stuff, right? Because these days I run a lot. Like for me at least, that's a ton, right? So last week I did like 90K, which is kind of insane. Uh, this week I'm taking it easy and doing like 60, 70K. Um, my plan is to go up to 100, right? Which will probably happen within like the next month or so. And I'll probably do a video then on like my journey and what running brought into my life and stuff like that. But yeah, so I bought a lot of running stuff, mainly Satisfy running stuff. Now I'm not going too much into detail here because I will do a separate video on Satisfy running, but a couple of things that I bought are those like headbands, which are pretty awesome. So it's the fabric is made in Japan, right? This one is the tie-dye version, but it's, it's supposed to be like a headband. Obviously I'm not using it for my head, so this is like a snakeskin print, which is pretty badass in my opinion. And yeah, I just wear it around my neck, right? When I run or just like on a regular day as well. I think it looks kind of cool and it's kind of like protective of your neck a bit, but not too much. Pretty cool accessory in my opinion, not too fancy, but kind of cool. Next up, I bought running glasses, right? Which are pretty cool in my opinion. They're from a collaboration between Satisfy Running and District Vision, right? District Vision is a 
company that is based in New York, but all their glasses are made like in Japan by hand. I know, it's a pretty cool company. I'll link it down below, District Vision. I think like they're founded by two runners and obviously running is a big focus for them, but also like meditation and mindfulness and stuff like that. So they're pretty like a sustainable company and pretty cool concept. And I think like, since I love Satisfy Running, the collaboration like really hit home with me. Is that a word, hit home? Anyway, I love this one. Um, weighs 22 gram. It says shatterproof polycarbonate lenses combining Japanese craftsmanship with sportswear technology. Weighs 22 grams. High contrast lenses provide 100% UV blah 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 protection. Frames are finished with hand applied tortoise leaf, making each one unique. So yeah, pretty cool. Obviously you still look like a cyclist, like kind of like a weirdo, but <laughs> I think those are really practical and yeah, to me like the best solution like when you need to protect your eyes in summer when you run, which I do, I run like, I don't know, more than 10 hours a week. That's a lot of stress for my eyes out there. So I think it's really important to like protect your eyes and it doesn't hurt to look good as well. So yeah, finished by hand, made in Japan. Pretty cool, pretty happy with those. I've run like, I don't know, 10 times in those. Yeah, really, really impressed. And next up I bought this trail running hat from Satisfy Running. So you're probably fam familiar with this one. I have I have the same hat in pink and in purple. So I have all the three colors that they have now. I thought like black is obviously the most versatile color as well, right? So I can use this for running, but also like just when I walk around and suits me well, I think. So this is what the glasses look like. They look kind of futuristic, of course, right? Very, very sporty. I wouldn't rock those like when I'm not doing sports, like they're only for running. I have a couple of cool sunglasses for like my free time, but for running, they're perfect because they're ultra lightweight. They really protect your eyes and they look kind of cool as well. Onto my latest pickup from Satisfy Running. So those are the trail shorts, long distance trail shorts from Satisfy Running. Pretty cool. Leopard print. So these shorts, they have six pockets, right? Which is kind of crazy. Then you have a hook here where you can hook your jewelry or a key. I have an inside foam pocket. And as you can see the pockets in the back, they're constructed from like high visibility aluminum ripstop fabric, right? Which is pretty reflective kind of a cool detail as well then the zip pocket in the back here is sweat proof and it's like all those little details that like really make a difference in my opinion and when you're going like long distance let's say you run like I don't know 30k you know it takes so long and it's so exhausting and every little detail matters so much when something hurts you know it's definitely gonna hurt like for the next 30k you know what I mean so when something chafes or whatever like rubs against your skin. It might not make a huge difference like for the first three or five K, but after 10 K, 20 K, 30 K, you really feel it. So every little detail matters in my opinion. Yeah, and this is a double layer shorts, right? So the outer is made out of like a ripstop silk, tech silk fabric, I think they call it. And pretty cool leopard print as well. So yeah, pretty dope shorts in my opinion. Right, usually running gear is really, really ugly and Satisfy Running really hit a home run for me with those shorts. Really love those. Right, and my last purchases for the month, I bought two cowboy hats. <laughs> I don't know, these days I'm really feeling like those cowboy outlaw bandit kind of vibes. I don't know. And I saw this awesome hat, like a straw hat from SLP, from Saint Laurent Paris. I really thought of like buying it, but it's 700 euros, right? 700 bucks for a damn straw hat. Just kind of insane. And as you probably know, like I don't have a problem like dropping a lot of money on stuff, but I want something in return. And that just didn't make any sense to me. So I went to a local like hat shop and I bought two cowboy hats, which are pretty cool in my opinion. And they had like, I don't know, like this le leather band with like stuff, stuff on it, which I remove. And my plan is like to build my own like leather band that I want to put around and like maybe do feathers and stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think <sighs> looks kind of <laughs> funny maybe, but I don't know. It feels kind of cool. And yeah, obviously I had to get a black one 
right? And this will be my more of a cowboy hat. Pretty cool for summer. I wore this like for the first time last uh, last weekend when I visited my in-laws. Like they live on the countryside, and it was really sunny and hot out, and this kind of protected me from the sun, which is cool. And I think it looks kind of cool as well. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think down in the comments, please, man. Please don't flame me for this. I know this is kind of a weird thing to do, but I don't know. I'm really feeling like a cowboy these days, like a bandit. So. Yeah, those are the vibes. And then finally the cowboy hats. Both are straw hats, right? Those are dyed. This is dyed straw, pretty cool. Because it's lightweight and it's like, supports airflow right during summer, which is kind of important because otherwise you will sweat to death. And yeah, so they have like this kind of band here in the back. Right, where you can adjust basically the angle of the sides here, which is pretty cool, cool detail. Yeah, and this is the other one. And you can kind of like hand mold those like the, to the desired form, I guess. And I really like this colorway because it looks kind of like burnt here. Right, like dirty, burned, whatever. So yeah, pretty cool. And also, so what I did with this one, as you can see, I had like this leopard leather, leopard printed leather. So I wrapped like a small band around it. Nice personal touch, cool detail as well. Yeah, so I think that's it. Yeah, guys, that's it. Those are my pickups for May. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that on like button down below. Let me know down in the comments, like what do you think about my pickups? Is the cowboy hat a weird thing? What do you think about my satisfied running pickups? I will do a satisfied running video soon. Also, the MA crossplays are pretty cool as well, I think. And yes, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.